All right, guys, this week we're going to show you how to replace a top crank jack with a side crank jack. I got this for Christmas. Haven't had a chance to put it on. Uh, this is a static 8000 lift 5000. This is a lift 5000, I guess, static 8000. Uh, but the side crank is a whole lot easier to operate than that top crank. Just the way the gearing is in them. Here we go. All right, guys, you might remember that motor sitting here on the floor with that pump on it. It was all mounted to that piece of plate steel. Uh, the gentleman that owned this, he wanted the pump back. I wanted the motor and nothing was ever discussed about the plate. I hope you don't want that back because I've cut that plate up and sandblasted it and I came up with this. This is six inches by five inches. That is exactly the size of the plate that is currently on the top crank jack. Uh, so now we're gonna get that top crank jack off of the trailer. We're gonna bring it in here. We're gonna trace that pattern for the bolt holes onto this piece. And then we're gonna bring that side crank jack in here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, figure out where we want it. Grind the paint off of it in the area that we're gonna weld. Go ahead and weld that flange on it and then uh, give it a little spray paint and mount that back on there. So here we go. All right, guys, we tried to take those uh, bolts out with wrenches, and then we moved on to a 3 8 impact, and it just sat there and rat-tat-tatted. So now we're up to a uh, half-inch drive with a full-blown impact socket. Now that we have those bolts out, we're going to carry this inside as well as that, and uh, we're going to lay that plate out with the bolt holes. Here we go. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to lay our new plate on top of the old plate, and kind of get that centered up and then we'll clamp that together turn it over and mark the holes
right guys, we drilled this. We uh, ground off some of the excess metal and cleaned up the corners a little more. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna position it on there. We've already put this on the trailer, made sure that these holes line up with the other holes on the trailer. Uh, so we're gonna get a measurement from the workbench to the top of the hole. And then we'll do the same thing here. Then we're gonna square down it, make sure that we're square on the jack and uh, grind off some paint and get ready to weld it. Here we go. We got our plate laid out. We laid that out on this. We left a little bit of our black line at the top right there. And now this plate will lay on there, line up with that, line up with the other two lines. We're gonna clamp it in place. I got the welder out, we're ready to go. Here we go. Uh, you can see that we have that lined up with that line. Come around this side. You can see my black line. You can see my black line there. So we are centered up and we are at the right height. So now we're getting ready to fire this welder up and get busy. All right, guys, there you have it. This is the old one, the top crank, and this is the new one, and this is the uh, front crank. Uh, we have this foot crank down quite a ways, so that way we can spray paint it. We have everything taped off. Um, so when this paint dries, we'll peel uh, the tape off the labels, peel it off the handle, and uh, we'll show you what this thing looks like. We'll put it back on. Let's do it. All right, guys. This front crank jack is now installed. Yeah, I don't have the best welding ability, but I can guarantee you it'll hold. So now we're gonna pull this thing back in the backyard, get it unhooked, get ready for the next day.